Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. Uh, always a pleasure to see our next guest, and, and it's so much quieter in here without Fletcher, man. <laughs> I it's know. like It's like an energy vacuum, but in a really beautiful way. Well, we are going to talk Canucks with our next guest as well, because he is also a huge fan of the team. Mark Hildreth is hey, joining us now. How hey. are you, my friend? How are you? I'm fantastic. Good. Now, I don't want to blame you for the Canucks, but when you found out you're coming on the show, you emailed me and you said, I really hope we still have some games to talk about. <laughs> Not that I want it to go Hildreth! to game seven. I know, I know. You I, did I know. it. I'm so I'm sorry. I don't, I'm sorry, Vancouver. I'm sorry to all the Canucks fans and all the Canucks players for what I've done. But we get to talk about the Canucks now, which what, is great. Uh, you're a fan. What yeah. kind of? We've seen, of course, Brendan Fletcher and 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 his antics. What right. kind of fan are you? Are so, you are you a quiet guy? Or are you loud? I, I'd say I'm, I'm I'm a pretty quiet fan until the actual game happens, and then when the game happens, I'm as loud as anybody. Right. It's uh, I, I actually. Uh, you know the the going to the finals this year and, and anytime we're in the playoffs, but especially now that we're in the finals. When I was uh, when I was in high school, when we went to the the, the finals. Yeah, in rub it in. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. High school. I, I, I was when finished I was in university by that point. High fine. school. Yeah. When okay. I, way back when I was yeah. right. young. Uh, <laughs> they. Uh, I, I met half the half my friends who I now know. Half of my best friends. I met them all that year. Right, so they all watched hockey, and I didn't really watch hockey. And well, I, my family was English, so they watched soccer. So yeah. I got into hockey for the first time. So every year, you know, the playoffs come around. It has this whole yeah. gestalt yeah. of yeah, yeah of, of that's love and acceptance. So are you watching with these guys this year? The now same we're, group? Yeah, well, you know, that's the thing is like a lot of them have you know moved away and yeah. they live in different countries and they're not here anymore. A few of them are still here, but every year it is. You know, we just we just lose it. It's it is like the great. It's the highlight of the Mark, year. Mark, can you believe we are going into Game, game Seven, seven of home. the Stanley Cup Finals tomorrow <sighs> in Vancouver for the first <laughs> time? I don't think I do believe it. I don't I think don't honestly. I think it's a little. And it was it's yeah. weird to come on the show the day before because I almost feel like you know I don't want to upstage the thing. It's so <laughs> important. I don't even know what can you say. I would have to. You'd have to yell like Brendan Fletcher to even get close to how <laughs> no. important it is. <laughs> you know? It does matter. <laughs> Nobody yells like Fletcher. Uh, man, we got so much to talk about. Uh, your music is such a huge part of your life, and, yeah. and for people that know you, uh, you know, from your acting and, and your various TV and film roles and stuff, uh, I don't know that people know how this fits into your life, and that that this really was sort of the first thing for you, music. Yeah, I, I taught myself. Uh, I taught myself to to play Beethoven when I was ten. What? Rub it in once and, again. Rub and, it in. Yeah, yeah. and and uh, and I just developed a, a love of music. I've always had a, a sort of an ear for music, and it's just. It's just it just kind of sits in my heart in this really in this way that I, I can never get rid of. Right. So uh, Beethoven, the first thing you teach yourself <laughs> to play. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but where did your music taste go? I mean, obviously at ten you were listening to classics, but where did it go and well, where are you now? I probably I don't know where I got the Beethoven from because in my house it was all like Bob Seger and Elton John and, and <laughs> right. John Lennon. So this is your rebellion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's how I rebel. I'll like, teach you people. Yeah, I don't need that rock and roll. I'm <laughs> going for a classical. <laughs> no way. Uh, you know, my my dad played a lot of music when I was young, and I think that's probably you know really where it started. And uh, yeah. and then I I really got. Uh, I got very, very, probably my first influence, my first biggest influence was Elton John, and he's just an amazing, 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 yeah. amazing song. Well, I love performer. that description of, of that it's sort of in you, and, and it's, it's sort of always there, because I, I think everybody's got that thing, whether it's music or something else, like it's, it's that scratch that you always have to itch, and you're trying to express it in a way that, just, that's totally pure. Do you ever get there? I mean, where you feel like you just totally nailed what you were feeling. Yeah, you get time. there. You get there in a moment, and there's a moment of expression. There's a moment of it's like you with you and like everything else disappears and it's like that when I perform which is one of the reasons I love to perform and I love to sing yeah. because there's that moment where you're just connected with you and it just comes out of you and it almost feels like you're there but you're not there. Ah. It's the Existential. It's uh, what is it like when you perform those songs in front of people for the first time? It must yeah. be kind of vulnerable but amazing. It is. I would you know, guess. I'm actually t I'm going to I'm going to sing uh, a song here for you guys that I've I've actually I've never performed before because it's off my my upcoming record. Uh, that no one has ever heard. So this will be the Vancouver and world debut of, nice. of this song and this record. Tell us about the new album. Yeah, the new album. What's yeah, the new album's called Change of Mind, and it's uh, it's really about, it has a lot to do with love. It's about love. It's about, you know, things that I realized started to come become really important to me about family, and I, and I lost... Uh, a family member and and that you know there's there's a lot of I guess there's a lot of working through of stuff that you do yeah. when you write and when you get to tell your own stories which is something that music's always held for me 
that that acting hasn't yet in the same way. Cathartic too, I would yeah. imagine. Yeah. When exactly. you're going through something like that. Yeah, it is. Is there that balance? I, I mean, between your acting and, and your music and stuff, it, it, do you bring guitars on set or do you write in your mind? Is Unfortunately, your... I play the piano, so I can never bring my <laughs> instrument to set. I you wish know I what? could. <laughs> if you keep getting great roles all the time, you're gonna have to bring a piano. I'm gonna put it in my are. writer and be like, yeah, "This is my Winnie, and this is my Winnie for piano." <laughs> and I just have two. So <laughs> when you were on V, you just couldn't bust out the Beethoven. No, <laughs> I wish. No. <laughs> on V, on V, there was no. <laughs> there, v is like there is no expression. Everybody's so yeah. dead serious. There is no comedy, no singing, nothing in V. God, we have this great photo of you uh, from uh, from one of the episodes. Season two is going to be released on season two here? will be released on DVD this summer. But this is such a I'm rad afraid. photo. I'm yeah, afraid. Yeah. <laughs> this is. Uh, this is this is a photo of me being being blissed, having my my soul extracted by uh, by Marina Baccarin, who's yeah. uh, a beautiful uh, uh, Brazilian actress who uh, I got to work <laughs> with on a show. Are you on the way to that or from that in uh, that picture? I, yeah, no, that's I'm actually on the way. Yeah, on the way to that. I, I just <laughs> I just actually skinned my best friend to death, right? And now I'm being blissed into a different state of. Of, of being of consciousness or something. So that's pretty much what he is <laughs> nice. in a nutshell. Okay. I, it looked like you were on your way there to me in that photo. <laughs> yes, I don't know yeah. why, but we have to talk about your show because people actually get to come see you perform. Yeah, yeah. Where and when and what? Yeah, I'm gonna play uh, uh, the backstage lounge, which is on Granville Island, and it's a fantastic space that's uh, in the Arts Club Theater there. Uh, I'm gonna play with uh, a couple of fantastic musicians. Uh, a girl named Nat Jay, who has got music that's all over TV all the yeah. time, and then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, my friend Greg Chabelle, who uh, won his second Juno this year, uh, so we have a great uh, we have a great lineup, and uh, yeah, I'll be playing songs from my new record for the first time, Very aside nice. from tonight. Uh, I hope you're not offended by this, but for some reason, it smelled like whiskey in here. This entire you know what interview. That is? I noticed that, and you know, you know, I, bef bef before I go, I just I wanted to leave you guys with a quote. Okay. Uh, it's a quote from someone who who I love dearly, okay. and I think is a, a very very brilliant man. Okay. Um, Maybe maybe we can. How we does can this bring tie into the here. smell of whiskey? I just wanted to talk oh. about. <laughs> there <laughs> now I get why the smell of whiskey is in here. What? What? <laughs> what? Is that me? <laughs> so I just wanted to say regarding Game Six and the Canucks going into Game Seven, but just about Game Six. It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> are going to take a break oh and when we come back Mark, Mark will be performing for us a song uh, well it hasn't been debuted in Vancouver this will be the first time you can hear it it's from his upcoming album we're going to take a break and uh, and let him just get Brandon, drunk off explode. the fumes of Brendan your face is so come red come on stop saying that it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Uh, nobody Only light anything game seven. just wait for game 